What you're looking at is a 1974 Mercedes-Benz W115. Now, this particular vehicle is supposedly a collector's item. Um, it has a five-cylinder fuel injection engine. It's a two-door hardtop, as you can see. It's got a sunroof, and it's pretty much fully loaded to the compatibility of you can't load anything else in it. So what we're doing here is we are beginning the restoration of this Mercedes-Benz for a guy that collects Mercedes-Benz. We went and had the car sandblasted and we didn't sandblast the whole thing because I don't believe in sandblasting the outside. Now we're kind of doing it backwards on this car. Usually I get the soda blasting done first, then I'll get the sandblasting done. But on this particular car, with all of the rust repairs that it needs underneath, I went ahead and had it sandblasted first. Now you can see inside here, both floors need completely replaced all the way from the front to the back. If you look over there on your inner rocker, you can see where it's rotting through. It needs replaced. If we look up here into the front of the floor area, you can see where somebody replaced the driver's side floor with sheet metal and actually tried to do a professional job. And when I say tried to do a professional job, you can see where they bent the metal and formed it to fit inside there so they weren't just throwing it together they were trying to do the best they could without welding it up and completely restoring it properly but over in this corner here and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can focus in on that that was a piss poor job uh, let me see if I can get down in there right there you can see where they didn't really form it good enough to cover the hole so what they actually did, once again, I'll go ahead and say it again. Piss poor fucking repair. And then of course on the mirror image of the vehicle, we look at the right hand inner rocker. And over here in this area, what do we got? We got rot and rust just waiting to be repaired. Uh, very, very sloppy rot and rust. And we traveled down that rocker panel over into this corner and look what we got. The floor is falling through in the back. So, yeah, this car needs some major, major rust repair action going on. Um, it looks like somebody over here in this area tried to weld something together like it busted loose. And if you look real close when I pull the camera in, you'll see where the MIG welding wire is still hanging off of the weld. So I don't know what was going on over here, but uh, somebody did weld that up and uh, kind of did a piss poor job on that. But then on the other hand, since it is hidden and you never see it, who gives a shit? If we look up in this area right here, right under the steering wheel, you're gonna look at that firewall and look what we found. We found more rust, rust that the owner didn't even know about. This is going to all have to be handmade. These panels that we're looking at and all these holes that we need to fill or, or replace has to be handmade and welded in place. You cannot buy these pieces for this car. Now let's take a closer look over here at this inner fender lip. Can you see what we're talking about? Me and the body shop girl, look how rotted and rusted it is here. It's just completely shot to shit. And we're gonna probably have to make that from scratch because it's supposed to look just like this. Now let me go ahead and tell you a little story about this car. And what happened is the owner of this car, Mr. Pollock guy himself, Les Grabowski, the uh, Mercedes-Benz guy, actually found a complete front clip. Let's go ahead and show everybody that. Found a complete front clip on eBay and wanted me to check it out and see if it was worth getting. So what happened is when I contacted the guy, there was only one picture and it was right here. This is all we were looking at. I asked him to go ahead and email me more pictures because this is the side that we were concerned about. Now he said it was rust free and it was $375, $275 shipping. He never sent me any pictures. He never contacted me back. And then I told him, you know what buddy, I'm not interested in your part, forget it. 
after I finally said that, he emails me back and says, oh, so I guess you don't want me to send you the pictures then. I contacted Les, Mr. Pollock guy, Mercedes-Benz dude, and I told him, forget that guy, he's an asshole, he's a loser, he's got very bad marks on his ratings, and he ain't worth the shit, and he's probably a scammer. Mr. Les Garbowski, Pollock guy, fucking Mercedes-Benz dude, didn't listen to my friend Pete, did he, Minnie the Body Shop Girl? And what he did is he went and paid the guy for the part and paid for the shipping and never got the part, meaning the body shop girl. So what do you think of that action? I explained to him not to deal with him. Didn't I tell him that? Yes, Pete. Why do you think he went ahead against my will and my supervision that he gave me to go ahead I don't know. and do I guess, it. I guess because you yell and scream too much. Who's yelling and screaming? I'm you telling right you like now. it is. I'm telling you like it is. The situation is, is the guy asked me to check it out. I check it out. It turns out to be a scam. He, he goes as and pays the guy and loses 650 fuck off dollars or whatever the amount was because he wouldn't listen to my friend Pete. Let me go ahead and explain something else. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the honest truth about this bullshit. I don't make no fucking money on this crap. I charge by the hour, of course I do. Follow me, camera girl, please. I charge by the hour to do this. But in reality, okay, in reality, it's not enough fucking money. Because to really charge the amount it costs to fix this thing, no one wants to pay. Everybody wants shit for nothing or for free or dirt cheap. Am I right, Minnie? Yeah, so why don't you, okay. why don't you close down your shop and get a room? Boy, I'll tell you, I'd like to. I'd really fucking like to because I'm starting to hate my fucking job after 38, 9 I years. I hate being here, so right. yeah. Over here. I'm tired of listening to you scream and holler. Now, so let me go it, ahead and explain it, it to you in a good... Okay, you, I'm sorry, you, what's that? You holler all the time. No, I don't. Now. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, Only do. when I open the shop door. Only when I come out here and open my doors to the you shop. Do it all the time. Okay. The We're talking about a Mercedes right now. We're not talking about personal problems. Let's leave that at home, please. This is our home. Okay. I am at home. I fucking live here. And I have to listen to you 24 7, scream okay. and complain. We're talking about a Mercedes right now. Yeah, keep screaming. Can we go ahead and finish the story on the Mercedes? Yeah, go ahead. Are you sure? Go ahead. Because, you know, I, I really don't want to get involved in the situation that's really at hand here. All right? But what? Right now, which, is, which is getting really mad at me? Why am I getting mad at I'm you? Because I'm calling it. I'm not getting mad at you. When the, when the camera goes when off, Nobody's getting mad at you. I don't when know what you're talking about. When the camera goes off, he will. I'm not, ta I'm not getting mad at you. We're looking at Mercedes-Benz right here. Okay. okay? We just pulled this out, and guess what today is? Guess what today is? It's a work day. It's, it's another the day, day after Thanksgiving. Everybody else is on vacation except my friend Pete. Poor, everybody poor else, Pete. everybody else at home watching you know, cartoons. You know, the way you sound, it makes you sound like feel sorry for me, please. Everybody, feel sorry for oh, me. Oh, maybe please. I need some feel sorry for me action every now and then. What do you think? Everybody does every now and then. Every day, twenty-four okay. seven. Every every now and then, somebody needs. Every fucking day. Not every day. Not every day. Not every day. But back to the car here. Um, what we got is a Mercedes Benz. I think I already said that. Uh, look at the rust over here, Mini the Body Shop Girl. Look at here, look what we got. Yeah, let's just get after it and get it done, man. Stop bitching about it. We got some major rust going on. And on these particular panels, you gotta make this stuff. You can't, you can't uh, buy that panel. But the real truth about the whole thing, people don't want to pay you to do that type of work. They want to pay you pennies instead of dollars. They want you to slave on go. holidays. Here we go. Here we go. They want you Here to slave go. on holidays Here we go. while they're out camping in the foothills or, or what is it called out there? He didn't tell you to work today. No, but I'm asking you, what is nobody, it called? What is it called where he's at? Today. What's it called where nobody he's at? Nobody has told you you have The to foothills of Texas? What's the name of that place? What is the name of it? Valley View. No, what's the name of the place where he's at down there by Austin? It's called the Foothills or the Rolling Hills or, you know, the Hills. San Antonio, Austin. What's it called? The Foothills. 
whatever the fuck it is. He's down there camping for two weeks while I'm slaving on his car for pennies on a fucking dollar. Let's everybody get our violins out and play a sad song for Pete. So what we got today is Minnie the Body Shop Girl just got done cleaning all the sand out. Thank you very much, Minnie, because you probably did that for free. You probably did it for free. He didn't pay us. No, I did that so later on down the line after we painted it, yeah. the paint job turns out good and right. the paint doesn't peel off well, because I hope it wasn't so. prepped properly. I hope so. Let's Don't hope we hurt. get paid for prepping it properly and doing the right job. next thing we're going to do to this thing is we are going to apply epoxy primer to all the bare metal. That in itself, and I'm sorry, Minnie the Body Shop Girl, can you come over here with that camera please? Look what we got just found. I know. you. I there's was, sand. Yeah, Look, see, I was, there's sand. I was vacuuming it up okay, and you but we got sand. Like blood, the motherfucker, so I couldn't finish. But look down here where my so finger you, so I couldn't finish. But look down so here. So I couldn't finish. I was doing fine so filming. I couldn't finish. Okay, we got sand on it still. I it's wasn't not finished. Done. Okay. I wasn't finished. So the real deal is, is this is the beginning of it. This is it right here. This is where the story starts. This is where everything becomes live and what you Actually, doing? the truth be known, what he was doing? out here with a blower, oh, okay. blowing the car. Okay. So Sam blows all around and That's then right lands right back on the car. I but Minnie's out here doing it the right way. The right way with a vacuum. Yeah. Sucking up the Hold sand so that it doesn't blow a all around and get it, back on the I know, because you fucking lost I it. I didn't lose shit. I didn't lose the end. This is the beginning. This is how it starts right here. It starts as a, I want to jump into it. I want to get it done. I want to work on it. And then you know what? It leads into one, two, three, four, five fucking years. And we're still working on it. See, you're already mad about it. But I want to move to Moab, Utah today, not five years from now. Well, then get busy on some of that body work and just get the shit done so we can. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Come here. Because that's all we're look. waiting on. That's what look. we're waiting on. Look what I just found. I didn't even know this. Look at this. Look at this piece right here. You see what I just found? Are you zooming in on that? Look. Look where my finger's at. I'm going to ask you a question. Is this car even worth restoring? Okay, I just saw that. I didn't even see this here, this corner. Now we got that mess to deal with. Just another fucking situation that says, you know what? More fucking work for pennies on the dollar. And no money in my fucking pocket because all the money's going for fucking bills. What are you doing? I'm going to plug this back in because you unplugged it while I was in the middle of working. I didn't unplug it, did I? Yeah, you fucking did it. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Go ahead and plug that in and get her done. Fuck it.